Alex, congratulations. A good, solid win over Nikolai Davidenko. How did you feel going into the match against him? Uh, a bit tough uh, because uh, I, I didn't start the season really well. You know, I had a lot of problems, injuries, and uh, I lost to him twice. So, I mean, I just wanted to show my good tennis and feel good physically and um, try to beat him this time. And I'm happy I. I managed to do it. When you have that sort of a situation where you've lost to a player a couple of times and, and there have been some of these injury issues, how tough is it to focus when you go in against somebody that you haven't had a great record against? Actually, it's, uh, for me, it's easier to focus when I'm, uh, when I'm not winning a lot of matches. You know, uh, I get uh, more focused and concentrated because you want to start winning those matches. And, uh, um, for the losing that you lost a few times to the player, I, I guess you just try to remember what you did the last time and try to do a bit different if you can, if your game style uh, works for that. It, and that's what I did today. I, I, I played with a different tactic and uh, I was healthy, so I'm really happy with the match. What about the conditions here in Miami? They're muggy, humid, it's warm. It's quite different to Indian Wells, but do you prefer the conditions here to things that are a little bit quicker in Indi like at Indian Wells? Uh, yeah, I think for me it's better. It's easier to return the serve for sure. I'm not a big server and uh, with those guys uh, you need to return as much as you can. So for me it's easier when it's a bit slower. Plus I like to play clay court so slower conditions are better for me. I can vary more my game. I can slice. I can uh, do all sorts of stuff. Plus some wind uh, also sometimes helps uh, because I play all, all around the court and the guys who play in the rhythm it's tougher to play with the wind so I mean I think the conditions today were on my side. Now, earlier this year you went back to working with your dad. Um, how's that progressing? What's the difference having him coach you again? Uh, I think he's making me work more. That's, uh, that's, that's probably, a good thing. That's uh, the, the big difference. I cannot say I can tell about the results. As I said, I was injured a lot of time and I mean the timing wasn't good and uh, we haven't had big results since Valencia so we'll see how the, the rest of the year goes and then I can really say something about that. Is he strict? Uh, pretty strict. Uh, <laughs> I mean not as strict as he used to be. But he's not going to send you to bed without dinner <laughs> or something. <laughs> no, no, he's not as strict as he used to be when I was younger because I mean now I'm I'm older, I'm an adult, and uh, I, I can choose what I need to do, but uh, it, I mean, it's uh, easier now than it used to be, you know, he cannot make me do everything, uh, we, we talk more and uh, we find a solution. Tell me about separating f the father-son relationship from the coach-player relationship. How, how difficult or easy is something like that? Uh, now it's it's easy. Now it's easy. It, uh, it used to be tougher because we lived in one apartment. We stayed in one room all the time. So even if you don't want to, you're always uh, talking about tennis, and it's it's different. It's different. And now I can you know I can afford to stay in my own room. I I live alone in uh, in Kiev. We live apart. He he lives in a house. I live in an apartment. So I have my own time that I can relax a bit. You know, forget about tennis. So uh, now it's I think it's so we have uh, it's better now. Third so independence is is what's so important for you. Uh, n not really independence, just uh, that I can have my free, you know, my private time, like as it was before. I had to always, if if he's mad at me on the practice or not, I have to go back home, and it still stays there. So uh, you're really sometimes the atmosphere is not too good, and here it's more on the court. He's a coach, and in life we see each other. We we don't talk tennis that much, and it doesn't connect anymore. All right, let's look ahead to the next match, Tommy Haas. What are your thoughts there? Well, he, he's a tough player to play, you know. He uh, always, when a player was that high in ranking and that good, he, he can always show a really good match. And uh, he's an all-around the court player. He can serve well, volley well. So uh, it's going to be tough. I need to really stay concentrated on my serve and uh, make him play longer points. You know, my advantage is I'm much younger, so Physically, it's easier for me, I think, the longer the match goes if I'm healthy. So uh, I'll just need to get him to play my game instead of uh, me playing his.
couple of 30 something players are coming <laughs> up against in main matches over here. Yeah, yeah, it's tough, uh, especially when you want to win some matches and you know, and uh, once they have been that high in the ranking, you don't have that advantage of uh, being top 20 player like I'm now, like around 20, and uh, some guy who just came in the top 100 and uh, is not that experienced. So you need to put more effort, and these guys are always dangerous to play. All right, thanks, Alex.